Mighty then. <clears throat> yes. What is up? Welcome back to Lumos. Now, it has been a day since the beta of Wizards Unite has been out. Unfortunately, I still can't show you any of the footage. If you can see right here, the icon is here. It's on iOS. You have to download it through the uh, New Zealand App Store, but it's here. I can press it right now. I really want to show you, but I can't because I am not allowed to. But what we'll talk about today is a big thing. We finally know the minimum requirements for this game. Is your device compatible? Are you on iOS or on Android? What specs do you need to run this game? And uh, it's here. It's in this beta. It's somewhere in the help section. And uh, I'm going to show you that in a screenshot. I can't open the game. All right, here we go. Is your device supported? So let's start with iOS because it's for iOS, it's very simple. You have to have iPhone 5S or above, iOS 10 or above. You have to have internet, of course, at least 2 GB of free storage. It's, I think that's what the app needs. GPS and location services, gyroscope and compass sensors. Those are very, very important. And jailbroken devices are not supported. Now, for Android, it gets a little muddier because as you guys know, Android, there are a lot of Android devices out there with tons of different specs. But here are the minimum requirements. So you have to have Android 5.0 or above, that's Android Lollipop. So the preferred resolution is 720 by 1280 pixels. And I think most phones are, most Android phones nowadays are uh, a bit higher than that. So that's a good thing. Strong internet connection again, at least 2 GB of RAM, that's important for Android devices. At least 2 GB of free storage, access to Google Play services, GPS and location services, and again, most important, gyroscope and compass sensors. Camera required for some features and rooted devices are not supported. So, the big takeaway here, the two most important sensors that your phone has. Almost all of the phones nowadays, they have compasses. That shouldn't be a worry. What you should worry about is if your phone has a gyroscope. And for iPhone users, it's not a problem. All of the iPhones have these sensors. You have nothing to worry about. But with Android, gyroscope is sometimes missing. So if you're planning to buy a new phone or if you plan on using your current phone you have to check if it has a gyroscope before the beta was announced and released i was looking for potential android phones in case that uh, ios people won't get the game early so i i did some searching and i found out that a lot of cheap android phones does not have a gyroscope i saw a lot of cheap and great android phones great specs it has it had everything it was cheap it had decent specs it had lots of ram i would always check if that phone has a gyroscope sensor and a lot of them don't so you really have to check if your phone has a gyroscope so what is this gyroscope for now the gyroscope is what enables the ar stuff this is what you use for you so that you can move around move your actual phone around like this your phone now knows that motion because it has a gyroscope sensor so if you don't have that how would you use the ar stuff maybe wizards unite won't run if it detects that it doesn't have if your phone does not have a gyroscope technically wizards unite can run without these sensors but since it says here that gyroscope is required maybe you have to look for a cheap new phone that has a gyroscope if your device does not support it i think i've covered everything that i need to cover with this info maybe i'll do a video where i talk about great budget phones that can support wizards unite 
But for now, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye!